My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners and makes a deposit, will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by earnyou.io. Earnyou.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game allowing you to earn crypto risk-free. Check it out now at earnyou.io. Next up at UFC 274, we have another, there are three women fights on this card and all three of them are much are closer than good what these women. Oh. <laughs> all three of them are much closer than what the odds tell you. All three. This is another tricky one. We have Macy Chesson taking on Norma Dumont. Norma Dumont, Natalie, seven and how one. You pronounce it. <laughs> seven and one overall. Three and two in her last five. Coming off the submission. Oh, I did. I read that one wrong. Norma Dumont, seven and one overall. Four and one in her last five. Riding a three fight win streak. Macy Chesson is seven and two overall. Three and two in her last five. The S's are silent. Coming Macy Chain. John. John, yeah. uh, she's coming off that submission loss to Raquel Pennington. Macy Chesson is tall and long, and she uses that length really well to jab you up and work her Muay Thai striking. She has a positive striking differential, a little better than four to three, and she's got okay power with that. If you get past her length, you can have success staying in her face, but when she can keep the distance, she's very good and technically sound. She's coming off that submission loss to Raquel Pennington, where she actually was the one who initiated some of those grappling exchanges, which is surprising because that is not her way to win. Norma Dumont is a very good striker who is relaxed and patient in the cage. Her striking is very technical. and She has a 100% takedown defense. If you look at her strike differential, she lands about four significant strikes per minute and takes about two in return. On top of her technical striking, Norma has solid grappling and her takedowns are not great, but she does have takedowns in every single one of her UFC fights, including two against Ashley Evan Smith. Her grappling is more defensive than offensive, but she has solid top pressure and control. And I love Norma in this fight. I liked her to beat Aspen, and I like her yeah, again here. I, th I think she has no problem crowding Macy and just sort of lighten her up in the pocket. I think she will work takedowns against the cage, but this is most likely a striking match, and the only thing that worries me is Macy's range and her ability to just continue circling, continue moving. Right now, the odds have Norma Dumont at... They've tightened a bit. They were three to one the other day, and now they've tightened a little bit to more than two to one. I think those are wide, though. More, Macy is more than capable on her feet, and she's long enough to be a threat on the ground. Norma's the pick, but I think Norma should be a minus 130, minus 140 favorite here. And I think there's some recency bias with Macy getting stopped. Well, what do you think, Jacob Heimer Schmidt? Uh, what did you say about the odds? You think they should be wider or closer? Closer. I don't know. I, I think I think they're probably right where they need to be. You mentioned Chase, uh, Chasey, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you mentioned Macy um, and her length. I don't think she used her length that well. I, I mean, I was even watching one of the fights, and I can't remember if it was Bisping or, or DC commented about how she. I just wish that she would just keep pumping that jab out there because when you got those long arms, I mean, that's what I. Anytime I'm boxing, it's it's I, I'm constantly pumping the jab out there. I always have the length, uh, the reach advantage against my opponents. Constantly pumping the jab. I wish she would use her length more, uh, use her front kicks a little bit more. I think this is a tailor-made matchup for Norma Dama. I, 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 will, I will mention, too, when she fought uh, Megan Anderson, it, it, it's Megan. I don't know why she says Megan. My, my sister's name is Megan. It's, it's Megan, okay? We're talking about pronunciation. When she, fought me, when she fought Megan Anderson, she was able to get inside and get in those clinch position, positions, but she couldn't take her down because of of Megan Anderson's size. Now, Megan Anderson is, is a little bit bigger and a little bit more physical than Macy. So it'll be interesting to see if that if that length bothers her again in those takedown uh, attempts with those long legs that Macy has. Also, Megan knocked her out, but Macy does not have the power that, that Megan Anderson has. Um, I, I don't think there's any threat of Norma DeMont being knocked out on the feet. I think the path to victory for her is probably just to take her down and control her. 
what I see, what I, what I'm scared about, I, and my pick is Norma Demont. I think that she should be a big fair. I think, I think she's going to win the fight. What I'm worried about is a lot of times on uh, takedown attempts, and she did this, I think, versus Felicia Spencer. Felicia Spencer was throwing kicks. I think she caught a kick. Sometimes she starts reaching for kicks uh, for her takedowns because she's not one of those true, you know, shoot a blast double or grab a single. She tries to opportunistically, and it usually works, is catch, is catch a, a kick and get a takedown off the kick. With Macy, with those long legs, if you start going and trying to catch kicks and she comes high with a kick, now you're in big, big trouble. That's what I worry about the most for Norma. I think that's really Macy's path to victory is, is to kind of throw kicks and then and go leg, you know, body, body, leg, and then hit with the high one, see what happens. But I think this is a normal play all the way. I think she used her wrestling in this matchup, gets it to the ground, and, and wins that way. But if if she wants to strike her, I don't think there's any real danger in, in Macy in her hand. So I'm playing Norma DeMont uh, all the way and, and can't wait. Uh, to see her in that octagon, Norma, I, I'm rooting for you. You know, I'm, I, okay. I'm a big fan, and uh, I can't wait. I'm be, uh, I'll be ready. You didn't, you didn't change your last name, uh, Norma Demont, ninety one hundred dollars. That's probably pretty solid because I think she can win the striking exchanges. She'll definitely have control time, and I can see her with the takedown. Do you agree, ninety one hundred dollars? Uh, I think I already said like three people for ninety one hundred dollars. I don't think I can afford her at this point, Norma. Actually, you know what, Norma? Whatever you need, you need ninety one hundred dollars. You need fifteen grand. You need fifty grand. You, you <laughs> come see me, Norma. I'll get you straight. So, I think we agree there. The monkey knife fight line, though, I do think one hundred four is too high. I think that's too high for this fight. It's a three round fight, not a five round fight like the Aspen Lad was. I I, I just think that's just too high. I think, I think it's think high it's, too because I yeah I think both these girls will engage in the clinch. I think they both feel comfortable yeah. in the clinch for whatever reason. Even Macy with her length, I think there's a lot of clinch work and not a lot of striking in the clinch work. So I think it's a less less. Yeah, I think it's a less less as well. There could be some takedowns there, but I think it's less less. Check that oh out. Oh my we god! Have... What? Sorry, <laughs> plague runner. I got you, plague. Oh, here we go. Yeah, plague there you runner go. with a five dollar donation. Thank you very much, Plague. It's it genuinely appreciated. It says, for that cake. And then it's a peach and a cake. Do you know what that's for, Angelo? I can figure it out. I can figure it out. Say it Thank out you loud. very much, Plague. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't get it. Can someone explain it to me? Angelo, can you explain that to me? I don't, I'm lost right now. I am the oldest one, most likely, between the live chat and the live stream. So, absolutely not. Guys, we want picks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, let us know, and we will send you 50 bucks as a thank you. 